Who are you? Why have you trespassed on orc territory? Identify yourself. A human hunter. That is strange. These are not traditional hunting territories for humankind. So, that doesn't explain why you're here. Justify yourself, human. Us orcs have a long standing treaty of no entry with humanity, and you better explain why you violated such. You got lost? Hmm. I suppose that makes sense. Ugh. But I thought human hunters were supposed to be good at not getting lost. So, why then have you gotten lost? Running away? What would a human hunter be running away from? Are there any terrible creatures chasing after you? Oh, that would be very unfortunate. Especially if you led them here. Perhaps you planned on bringing the creatures here to attack the orcs. Well, that will not work. Us orcs are great at defending our lands. So any attempt at disrupting our peace will be eviscerated. Oh, so there is no monster or terrible creature or anything of the kind chasing you? Then why did you run away? Hmm. You were afraid of your own village? So you ran away while hunting as to not return. Peculiar, I suppose. But what would make you afraid of your own village? Hmm. Is it something you don't want to talk about? All right, then. We won't talk about it, I guess. But you still need to talk about your presence here. It is an issue which must be resolved. You cannot be seen around these areas of the forest, especially since you are a hunter and likely a fighter due to your demeanor. I assume, just like in orc culture, that human men are the primary fighters, correct? Then, if that is such the case, just by the mere sight of you, any orc smarter than me will be terrified by a human warrior. Or at least what they perceive to be a human warrior. And alert the leader of the tribes. Then, conflict will arise. So, how might I prevent that? Escort you out? I, uh, I'm not sure about that idea. I don't know what the implications if I get caught, and, and it's also not my job to do so. Uh, fine. I'll escort you out of this forest. I suppose you would like me to take you to a different human settlement than your former. Would that be acceptable to you? It would. Well, I suppose we should start our journey. It will soon be night, and if my senses are correct, the weather may be disruptive as well. Well, disruptive weather can be anything, I suppose. I say disruptive. I don't quite know 100%. But... I feel as if it could be rain. It typically is rain when it's disruptive. Or it could be really windy. Or any other various things that the weather might entail. But that is not of the matter. The matter is now getting as far as we can. Why, yes, as far as we can. All I'm saying is we are not going to be able to make the journey in the short amount of time we have. Especially not in these woods. I may say they are orc territory, 
because they fall under the jurisdiction of orc hunters and orc law. But uh, some of the creatures in here make it difficult to hunt and practice law. Although you wouldn't really be practicing law out in the woods. Especially not orc law. But enforce the law, I suppose. There are some wild beasts in here. But I should be able to handle any of them as long as they're not in too big of groups. So you shouldn't have to fear as long as you don't stray away from me and all should be good. Well, I'm not very much going to leave you here. So of course you should stay by my side. If I left you here, as I said, very bad things could happen. You could get caught. You could die. A numerous amount of different ways those two things could happen. Can happen if I leave. And I don't want either to really happen. Well, of course I wouldn't want you to die. You don't seem like a bad person. And you certainly don't seem like a bad human either. Some orcs may hold humans in contempt. I don't. Don't have much reason to. Well, that's good to hear. I wouldn't want you holding me in contempt either. That's good, I suppose. Well, I agree with you on that. Marks and humans really shouldn't have much struggle with each other. Of common origin, after all. Well, somewhat common. Oh, uh, do you feel that? Hmm. It seems as if I was correct. I suppose we should bunker down. Ah, I see some shelter under the branches of that tree. There doesn't seem to be any ready material to create a warm fire to warm us, however. Uh, that could be bad. Well, of course it could be bad. These forests get cold at night. Very cold. If we don't have something to warm us, then we might freeze. What? what? Warm each other in our embrace? Oh, you are a crazy human. Ah. But thinking on it, I suppose if it is our survival, then I am willing to do such. If we have to embrace each other just to stay warm, Uh, seems like it's finally coming down hard. Oh, well, that's the case. We better get a little bit closer. <laughs> I've never been this close to a human before. I know, I know. It wasn't my idea. Mm. You are really warm, though. I'll give you that. I suppose it's a weird way of saying that. Who cares? You, you know, this is actually kind of nice. Uh, I guess. Pet you? Why? Oh. 
Oh, it will generate more heat. I guess that makes more sense. Hmm. Um, I'll try. Is that good? Hmm. Huh? What was that? Love me? Uh, now that I think about it. I may love you a little bit too. Uh, I don't know. Just something about the strangeness of this encounter. Uh, and just how sweet you've been. Oh, I don't know. I've... <laughs> what was that? I don't know. Maybe later. <laughs>